today I'm reviewing Hot Wired by Ellis Sachs. Hi everybody, I'm Jo and welcome to today's video. Uh, like I said, today I'm doing Hot Wired by Ellis Sachs. I read this book last night um, because the book that I was reading was just way too heavy and I was looking for something which was going to be a much easier read. So I picked this one up, finished it in about two hours flat, okay? Um, so this is actually the third book in the Five Wishes series. I've not read any of the other books in this series and um, I don't know anything about this author or the series or anything. It was one of those that I just, I picked up. Um, I thought, what the hell, why not? So, this book, okay, it's a quick read. Like I said, front to back, two hours tops, and I'd done it. Um, it was interesting because, I say interesting because there are so many things that I didn't like about it, but at the same time I liked it, if that makes sense. Um, I ended up giving it a three star based on the fact that the writing was good. I like just flew through this book. So um, full credit to the author on that one. Really can't fault her for that. Um, you know, it, it was good. It was easy reading. Um, and <laughs> so that's like the positive on it. Um, this is a romantic comedy and there were bits that made me kind of chuckle. Um, other bits that totally did not. Um, the self like you want to, we've got, we've got our couple right, we've got Mary Foster who is like she's just been kicked out from her PhD um, for cheating when she didn't cheat. Um, and basically, so her whole life has fallen apart and everything she thought she knew, she's now um, doubting. And so she decides to do the opposite of what she's always done. And so she ends up going to this bar and getting like completely drunk. And I mean like completely drunk on one shot of tequila. So this is like, she must now hold the record of like lightweight drinker out of the entire universe, I think, because she also, she says at one point that she only drank half of it. So how she could get that drunk on half a shot, I don't know. I don't know. She's like, she's falling over the bar. She's just like blaring. She's putting everything into, she can't sit up straight. She's going over and she's talking to these strangers. And she takes this guy home with her, this complete stranger who's never met him before, ever in her life. And she takes him back after half a shot of tequila. It was a little far-fetched. Had she drunk more, then it would be like, okay, I can kind of... But half a shot of tequila didn't seem like much. I mean... I suppose you could put it down to like an, some kind of allergic reaction to it. She's like hypersensitive, but um, I don't know. It just seemed a bit far-fetched. Um, second, our male lead, Jared, who is the guy that she picks up at the bar, by the way, uh, not really a knight in shining armor, this guy, because he's taking advantage of a woman who is obviously not in her right mind. He, like, no, just no. That's like, no, you do not take advantage of drunk women. Ah, um, so anyway, so we get off to like a bad start with him from that point of view, most definitely. Um, yeah, kind of appreciate the fact that it was noted that condoms were used. Um, but at the same time, that does not make it any better. You know, it was just so messed up. And then, so like the next day, he asked, 
asks her to marry him. I was like, yeah, because that makes sense. And then it's, and she, she does. She says yes. And it's like, yeah, there's this whole like backstory to it and why they decide to make this arrangement. But it was just so far-fetched, guys. Like, seriously? Totally, totally, like, so far away from realistic. But at the same time, if you go into it being like, okay, this is not going to be a realistic read. It's just, like, pure the fun of the story kind of stuff then yeah, it's fine, you know, it's like, okay, same thing with, I suppose, you know, Cinderella or whatever, loses a shoe, the guy can't recognise her, he's totally madly in love with her but can't recognise her, so he has to go and try the shoe on every single female in the kingdom so that he can find her to marry her, because there is not two people out there that have the same size shoe, do you know what I mean? It's this book is, is kind of like that, <laughs> if you think, oh my god, the guy is just like, no, how, there's certain things you just don't do, and anyway, yeah, I, I don't want to give away too much of the book, but um, it's a romantic comedy, so I don't think I'm going to be giving spoilers here by saying that they do actually end up falling in love with each other. Um, so, yeah, I have to say, there was a point where I was just like, girl, do not go back. <laughs> I kind of wanted her to have her happily ever after, but, like, separate from him. Just because he seems like, yeah, he's a billionaire. Money's not everything, people. But, um, yeah. Anyway, it was, it was kind of a fun read. It was kind of a fun read. You need to go into this book with the mindset of like, this is just going to be pure for the fun of reading it. It's just a story and like not put too much weight on <laughs> the stuff. If you do that, then it's actually quite enjoyable. But um, so there you go. That's Hot Wired. Um, as it was an incredibly quick read, I'm also, I'm curious to see what the other books in the series are like. I'm imagining that they too will be very quick reads and probably along the same kind of lines. Um, there were um, a few racy scenes in this, um, but it wasn't like too erotic. It wasn't like too much um, on it. Um, they actually, I don't think they ever actually used the word sex in this at all. It was always like referred to as the big nasty or things like that. Um, there was a few bits which were like so cringe and cheesy <laughs> in it when it was to do with that. But at the same time, some of like the sexiest scenes were actually well written and everything. So yeah. Make of that what you will, people. But it is a very quick read anyway. Um, so there you go. That's Hot Wired by Elise Sachs. Check it out. Um, also, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, then please give it a like and click the subscribe button so you don't miss out on new uploads. Um, anyway, that's it for me today. Uh, if you have any comments, please leave them down below. I would love to know what you think of this series, if you read it. Um, your opinions about um, male leads doing things that they shouldn't. Um, also, about the mention of safe sex during the sex scenes and things. How do we feel about that, people? Um, and also, just like, have you ever got to a point where you're like, you want your lead lady to actually not end up with the guy and uh, find happiness on her own? Has that ever happened to you? If so, please tell me about the books as well because I would love to check those out. Um, anyway, that's it for today. Have a great day and I will see you next time.